Uh, when I first moved down here, full time, I'd never really been to St Just, right? <laughs> well, see if you lot come to the same conclusions as that. Is there anyone from St Justin here? Yeah. Really? Well, maybe you can maybe you can explain it to me. I walked into a club there, right, last summer, and the club manager he went, he said, "Are you the comedian boy?" I said, "Yes, I am." He said, "Marvelous. Come with me here and meet my wife and sister." And I went with him, right, to meet his wife and sister. And when we got there, just a one woman standing there, right, freaked me out, and I'm not going out again. Christ! Just. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, I think Russ was talking about Americans, wasn't he? Yeah, Americans. Do, uh, any Americans in? No? Nope. Good. Right, I'm going to take the mickey out of an American now, if that's okay with you. I think it might be. Don't you? Don't cross your arms. You curdle your milk. Not good. <laughs> it's a really good joke, this. So this, this American walked in a pub, right? He goes, uh, he says, oh, by the way, just before the show, right, just before I came out here tonight, I had a letter brought round to the dressing room. Well, the skip. Uh, um, <laughs> I don't, it's from somebody in here this evening. It's from one of you guys. Do you want to hear it? Okay then. It's really good that, isn't it? There's a really good bit at the bottom. L listen. I'll read it to you. It says, Dear Tony, I saw you last year at the Princess Theatre in Torquay. Oh, that's nice. Thank you very much. Olivia. You made me laugh. Cool. You made me happy. Beautiful. And you brought me out of a very, very deep depression. That's nice, isn't it, Pew? Yeah. <laughs> Lots of love, a Samaritan. It goes on, there's more. It says, about two years ago now, I really wanted to do away with my wife. <laughs> but I didn't have enough guts to do so. I was introduced to a man named Artie, who said he would do her in for just one pound. Well, I managed to raise the money. <laughs> and I gave it to Artie, and I told her that my wife went shopping in Tesco's every Saturday morning at 10 o'clock, and she would have on a pink hat and a blue coat. Anyway, this particular Saturday morning, Artie went to Tesco's to do my wife in. Unfortunately, there was another woman there with exactly the same outfit on. Artie panicked, and he strangled the both of them. <laughs> to this day, I can never forget the headlines in the newspapers the next morning. Artie chokes two for a pound at Tesco's. 